Bergen's cruise terminal is a bit out of town, so it can be a bus ride or a 10 minute walk into the centre. It's quite a pleasant stroll past old wooden houses and through a little park to the modern shopping area. At the end of the precinct there are fountains, gardens and a bandstand. A statue of Grieg, Norway's famous composer, stands in front of the post office. We've been to Bergen on a number of occasions, so we decided to leave the main tourist route and explore the narrow cobbled streets with pastel coloured wooden gabled houses. One little square was decorated with brightly coloured bicycles. Must be a kind of street art. A lot of trees were wearing knitted jumpers, possibly through yarn bombing, a sophisticated form of graffiti. Of course, eventually we had to go down to the waterfront, which was filled with small boats. Facing the water is Bruggen. The current buildings were erected on 12th century foundations following a fire in 1702 and are still in everyday use, mainly as souvenir shops. Narrow alleys run between the buildings to little courtyards with more buildings leaning at crazy angles. In 1360, the German Hanseatic League set up import and export offices in Bruggen and they dominated trade in Bergen for 400 years. The fish market at the end of the harbour sells all kinds of seafood, both hot and cold. Amongst the fresh seafood are monkfish and king crabs. The king crabs, an introduced species, are sold live. This delicious looking paella was £16 a portion. With strawberries at over £5, cherries at £9 and seafood platters from £16 to £34, it's a good job we didn't have any money left and weren't hungry anyway. We took one last look around the harbour area, then it was back to the ship to return to Southampton.